Hi traders, this is Cynthia of Day Trade Forex bringing you a training video for my color coded trend trading system. And we're going to start off in the 4 hour chart for the Euro US dollar since that's the most favorite pair to trade. And um, so in the 4 hour chart I just want to show you basically uh, what the premise is behind this trading system because it's very different from most other trading systems that you've tried or seen out there. So um, the first thing I want to point out is that uh, the most important part of, about this trading system is that we're trading from extreme points of the trend channel. That's this line here, that's the upper resistance. This orange line down here is the lower support and the best trades are always put on when you're buying from the bottom support and then selling from the upper resistance. So if you can remember that you'll get the the longest trades. And uh, right in here you can see we have some consolidation. We have a lot of white X's. You can see that this Bollinger Band has ex from here it's expanded due to extreme volatility but then the, the Bollinger Bands get very narrow during this period. And if you're in a trade during uh, the narrow Bollinger Bands and a lot of white X's, hopefully you're in profit and you really should just get out of the trade. Um, there's no reason to be in a trade when the Bollinger Bands are very narrow and you have a lot of white X's and you can see all the arrows up and down conflicting with each other. So there's really no trend and we're trying to find the strongest trends. So if you find yourself in this period, this is a resting phase in between the big moves. Here's the big move at rest. Here's a big move. Here it rests again. You can see the Bollinger Bands, the magenta outer Bollinger Bands have gotten very narrow. A lot of white X's. You just really don't want to be in a trade. So um, down here you have, you can see that the super trend has fallen really low, but it's starting to rise again. So that means the volatility is starting to pick up again. And right about here, uh, when the Bollinger Band expands outward and you have everything is blue and you, <clears throat> you don't have a white X and the stochastic and RSI is very high and the super trend is rising, somewhere in here would be a great place to get in. Okay, so one of the best uh, features of this trading system also is the trend slope. So I'm going to show you right here. This is the trend slope. And um, for, for illustration purposes, I'll show you that right around in here somewhere, the trend slope turned blue. You have your consolidation area but right here you have a big arrow and you can see the super trend has the bars have started to rise up that means the volatility is increasing in this window the stochastic RSI is very high that means um, there's a lot of momentum so right around in here is a great place to jump in long the Bollinger Bands expand uh, everything's blue for bullish then all of a sudden the super trend turns red and the non-lag dots also go from blue to pink. So that would be a good exit point. Plus you've entered at the bottom of the trend channel and you've exited towards the top of the trend channel. So that's about as good as that trade's ever going to get. Then you go into a resting consolidation phase and then right in here I dropped in a red vertical line to show you a good entry point here to go short. Down here the trend slope has turned from red to blue and, and the non-lag dots have turned from pink to blue and you have some white X's so we're going into a resting phase again. So each, each of these uh, dots represents four hours. Each of these Heiken and Ashy smooth bars represent four hours. And uh, I use the Heiken and Ashy smoothed bars because it keeps my <clears throat> trading nervousness down. 
So you're trading according to color, not really even so much according to price. And uh, so this, this kind of trading system makes it really easy for your brain to process information. And entries and exits are clearly marked so you can see. You just have to always expect that you're going to have a trend, resting phase, trend, resting phase, trend, resting phase, trend, resting phase. Now right here, now this dashed white line is just to train your eye to go up and down because what we want you to do is learn to look at the volatility windows down here and not just look at the candles or the price here. And we're not really that concerned with exact entries and exits, as I said. Uh, but we're at the top of the trend channel here, and you, you did get um, a pink arrow. But we don't take action, even though the trend slope is red. We do not jump in short because we've got all these white X's. The Bollinger Bands are a little bit narrow. But now you can see right about here the Bollinger Bands have expanded. So this would be your first entry to go short. This would have been a great entry to go short. So you just mark it like that. Hold on. Trying to pull it over. <laughs> it won't work. Oh god. Okay. Let's see. Sorry. There we go. Okay. That would be your entry. However, if you miss that entry on that candle, you still have a great entry for this candle because you know that the trend is down. Look at the trend slope. It's slightly going down. And uh, there's probably, let's see, from one extreme of the channel to another, that's about 200 pips. So you can get probably, if you enter after the resting phase, you'll be able to get on average, how many, that was about 187. Um, if you got in, let's see, whoops, it's hard to do this. This would be your entry right here when the Bollinger Bands start expanding and the RSI line is starting to go up or rather, yeah, the RSI and the super trend. And that's 125 pips. So you can pretty much, if you just avoid the consolidation areas, you can pretty much count on at least 100 pips, if not more, from one extreme channel to the uh, other one. So trading from the resistance down to support. So you sell at the top, you buy at the bottom. You avoid the tight Bollinger Band white X areas and you wait for the expansion of the Bollinger Bands to give you uh, more momentum to get into the trade and there's no white X. And one other thing is this, this trend line here. The default is 80 and in the four hour chart this is 55 and uh, that would be your entry right around in here according to the the trend slope but your actual entry would be right in here or after this other white like I after the white X where I dropped the red line so um, and then here's your uh, trend line and right in here it gets you out but truthfully that's you're going to be, you, you're not losing a lot of pips, but why stay in a trade during this white X narrow Bollinger Band consolidation area? I, I don't want to be in a trade. I never like being in trades like that. It's just more stress than you need. Now, in the 15 minute chart, you're going to see that the trend is set at 70. Let's see what that looks like. That's even, well, it gives you a nice entry right around in here, but look at it, it keeps you in the trade all through this, but here's your perfect entry to go long. So what you could do, if you like the 70, get in, and then when you see the bl blue uh, dot appear and the white X appear, you can get out. 
And down here, of course, the super trend has changed from pink to blue, so that's a good place to get out. You wouldn't be in a trend at all. I mean, you wouldn't be in a trade at all during this consolidation area. But then when you'd see the trend slope turn from red to blue, and you just look, let's put, let's drop in our buy. Let's see, changes right about there. Right there. Okay, this is how you change the color. Right mouse click, change, and make it lime green or something like that. Okay, there. Now you have your entry. So let's see, you would have probably gotten, got out when the blue ball turned pink and the white X appeared. It's 129 pips. So maybe you'd get 125 pips after spread or something. So anyway, um, that's how you trade. Uh, this is the four hour chart. It's a great way for beginners to learn how to trade. It's great for busy people. And um, what you can do is, I like the 30 minute chart myself. So you can jump down to the 30 minute chart and look at the trend and look at the entries. So let's see. You can see here the trend channel, the upper one, the trend channel is very, very flat in the 30 minute chart. So uh, right, the price is hovering right below the dashed middle line. But here you do have an entry going short. After all of this consolidation, the white X's and the very narrow Bollinger Bands, then you have an arrow to tell you to go short and you just run your eye down and you can see the stochastic and RSI is, is very low and you have the red or the magenta super trend. So you can go short and then just stay in the trade until you see the blue ball and the white X and you can get out somewhere around here. Now again in this trading system you're never going to get the perfect exits. But uh, what you can do, let's see, and here would be your entry to go long. Okay, here is your blue arrow, but you don't act on it because you have all these white X's. You have to wait for the white X's to appear. And there are little uh, arrows here. It's the AMA band. I'm going to show you that. AMA band and you have the Dodger blue, they're so small you can change it to one and the orange that's uh, Dodger blue for up and the orange red for down change them to make them a little bigger so you can kinda see the arrow right here tells you you know that's a nice little entry point here the Bollinger Bands are starting to expand out so anywhere in here in a 30 minute chart you can get in and uh, here it's a little harder to see when to exit, but you have your trend slope and just stay in until the trend slope changes color. Now if you want that trend slope to be more sensitive to price, you can change it to 25 or 27. Let's change it to 27. Okay, so it's a little more jumpy. It's hard to see in this video, um, but the trend slope is red. So you're in here it tells you to get out of the trade and you've already had the the, the non-leg dots change from pink to blue and you have the white X's so this would be a good place to exit then you have the up arrow but you don't act on it because you have all these white X's uh, so this would be your entry here to go long and then you would stay long because the trend slope stays blue but all of a sudden here the trend slope changes and turns red and then you have the the down arrow but all along here you've had these white X's a lot of them and uh, so somewhere in here but to be exact just get out whenever the trend slope changes okay so uh, now the other thing is let's drop down I like the 15 minute chart too now this this trading system is not really good for scalping. This is a trend trading system and it's not really designed for scalping. But it does work very well in a 15 minute chart. And you can see uh, 
very narrow Bollinger Bands and a lot of white X's. That's your resting phase. And here you had an uptrend. Here you had a downtrend. And always after a big move, you have your resting phase. So uh, as far as the trend channel goes, this was your major trend channel up here, and you've broken down below it. But if I jump back up, it's hard to work these, say a one hour, there's your trend channel. You're at the bottom of the trend channel here, and basically you're at the top, and here we are where we had our cell. And then down here, you're at the bottom of the trend channel. Now you can see a lot of trend channels are starting to overlap. And if you keep moving back and forth from time uh, chart to time chart, like going to a higher time frame or jumping down to a lower time frame, you're going to start getting all these trend channels and it's going to make your uh, chart look a little bit messy. And at some point, all you have to do, if it just gets too messy for you, just go up to your template icon and just choose your template again, and it overwrites it, and it's a clean template for you to start from. But here I just wanted to show you uh, is that we've got a little ma minor downtrend right here happening within this sort of sideways. This is not a super, in a long time frame, this is not a real sharp uh, trend but all of a sudden here we've started to go the price has started to go down and it's formed this other little very sharp trend channel so it's the same premise you sell at the top of the trend channel and then you would buy at the bottom of the trend channel and you can see right here let's just move this over you're at the top in a one hour chart you're at the top of this little minor down trend channel so this could be the beginning of um, a new downtrend for the euro US dollar. And so the entry, well, you did have your entry back here, but it didn't gain you that many pips. That's 49 pips, so roughly 40 or 50 pips before you would get out. But if the trend uh, slope turns to red, and the, the non-lag dot turns to hot pink. And these, well, these bars would be turning to hot pink also. Then somewhere in here, you would have your down entry, okay, your sell entry. And then you can see here where these uh, trend channel lines connect, they cross. That would be a probable uh, target, and that's around 1.34, say 50, roughly. So that's 88 pips down. So you're looking for an entry to sell short here, and you're looking for your target to be 3450. Okay, so uh, that's just a little tip on how to use the trend channels. The minor, small trend channels that uh, show you a change of trend and it's within the context of the major four hour trend channel. And here you can see the RSI is very high but turned down. And uh, so the vol volatility is very, very low right now. We're in the Asian session right now. So uh, I'm just, I'd be looking for a sell signal. Okay, you just wait now. <clears throat> If you don't want to wait that long, jump down to the 30 minute time frame. See what's happening. Okay, here. You can see this is the trend channel. That's the trend change within the major four hour trend channel. Here's the 30 minute trend channel and this would have been your short entry here you would have gotten out down here. And now look, see, we're looking at a short, this is a short signal, but we have the white X's and the trend slope is still blue, so we're waiting. Uh, down here you have the super trend is turned pink. So we're just, but you have the hot dot, so the only thing we're waiting now for is the white X's to go away and for the trend slope to turn red. And if you jump down to a 15 minute chart, 
it's possible it's already given you that entry so no because look at how the Bollinger Bands are very very narrow although they're starting to widen out a little bit here at the end so that's telling you the volatility wants to pick up but with all the white X's you don't have your entry yet okay so it's very uh, low volatility time we're in the resting phase so we've had the big down move and a little bit of an up move and now we're resting but we're looking for for a short entry here and you actually on this bar here if I if I open this up a little bit you can see right here you oh the white X is flickering okay so and now this does not repaint nothing in this system repaints but it does it will change on the current candle so you can see we have some indecision in the price here but we pretty much already know by by looking at these different trend channels that we're on a minor trend down so the trend could be changing for the long term and we're just looking for our entry to go short so let's look at the five minute candle okay and here was your short entry but we had the white X's so we wait for the white X's to go away so in a five minute chart we already had our entry so you see how if you start at the higher time frames and look and analyze and then just look for your perfect entry and just keep going down to the lower time frames so here you would have had a great little entry on this candle here let's see how many pips you would have made so far roughly course there's no way of really knowing the price is really down here um, that's not very much uh, that's only like four pips so that's nothing um, but it just shows you how you can analyze and look for your better entries um, basically uh, we already know we're going to be going short because we know we're at the top of this trend channel and we know that we sell at the top of the trend channels so then it all, all it means is that we drill down starting from 4 hour to 1 hour to 30 to 15 minutes to 5 minutes to look for your uh, ideal entry. So, um, but you can see here the trend has been very narrow uh, and very flat, but we're starting a new little downtrend because we have this other uh, trend channel that we saw that's going down okay so I don't know what else I can tell you um, you just have to practice just uh, practice enough that you feel comfortable trading from the bottom of the trend channels and buying and selling at the top of the trend channels and trading with the color now you did receive um, Cynthia's trend bars as an attachment to your email when you received this trading system so you can <clears throat> add it to your chart just change the color blue to something a little different than the blue that's on your chart the Heiken Ashy candles are Dodger blue but you want these to be just a little bit different but in the same blue tone and then the red change it to maybe medium orchid something like that and um, That'll put these, uh, if, you, if you need to have a better representation of the price, uh, then you can put these on top of the very smooth Taiken Ashi. Now, if you don't know that much about Taiken Ashi bars, you should uh, Google it in YouTube because there's a lot of uh, trading videos that talk about the Taiken Ashi, how uh, it's it's very good to um, stop nervous trading and stress but it doesn't give you a good representation of the price so I think that personally you should get used to trading with Heiken Ashi especially if you don't want to be a nervous trader and we have a news event coming up for the USD yen but if you have to see a little bit better representation of the price just drop the trend bars in here and, and keep the color intact but slightly different so you can differentiate between the Heiken Ashi and the, and the trend bars. So you can see here that the price is starting to go down again and uh, so in the five minute chart uh, we got our perfect entry and say you jump back up to the 30 minute chart let's see what's going on. 
okay you had your entry here but in the 30 minute chart we still have a white X so in the 30 minute chart we wouldn't actually be looking to to go short yet but of course we already know that we we want to go short at some point and you can drop drop down to the 15 minute or 5 minute chart and look for your perfect entry so um, that way you get a jump on the price and you can gain more pips but I never enter just on a five minute chart without first starting at the four hour then drilling down to the one hour 30 minute 15 minute then to get the perfect entry the five minutes fine um, but never just trade in the five minute chart by itself because you get too much whipsaw uh, I don't recommend that so thank you for watching I hope this helps and uh, I'll try and do some more training videos in the future. And if you have any questions, you saw me uh, drop my red vertical lines in and um, my green buy vertical lines. And uh, you can always show me your entries that way uh, if you're unclear and need to send me a chart for my critique. Just learn how to mark up your charts. It's really easy send me a screenshot with your questions because that makes it easier for me it takes less time for me to answer you to figure out what you're talking about and to answer you so I'm happy to help just like I said send me a screenshot along with your questions and I'll get back to you as absolutely as soon as I possibly can so thanks again and we'll see you in another training video good luck with your trading